everyone, welcome back to another episode of Garden State Growing Again. My name is Eric. Today we are shooting this video from my driveway. Why? Because my neighbor is power washing their deck today and it kind of put the kibosh on my entire plan. Doesn't really matter. Today I am shooting part three of the sweet potato experiment. Uh, I planned on this being a three part series, but reality is it might be a four part series. Why? Because if I get completely disappointed with the bucket that I'm about to dump into this wheelbarrow and there's almost no or just extraordinarily tiny sweet potatoes, I am not gonna harvest the other buckets. I'm going to let them go. Now, I planted these about uh, three to four months ago. If you look it up, like when should I harvest sweet potatoes, they will tell you anywhere between 90 and 170 days. That's like the difference between three months and six months. So how do you tell that they're ready to be harvested? Well, one way you can tell is that the vines on top will start to die back, but you can keep them in the ground all the way up to your frost date. Now, I wanted to go back there and show you uh, how I trellis these buckets up, uh, but of course, because of the power washing, you're gonna just have to settle for some fancy camera maneuvering and some drone footage. Wasn't that a neat little trellising technique that I did? If you want to see how I built these buckets or uh, the different experiments that I did do in them and, and how I uh, did different soils, different fertilizers, different everything for each bucket, please go check out uh, episodes one and two of the sweet potato experiment. These are Japanese sweet potatoes that I did just pick up from a local Chinese market. I have no idea what's in that bucket. Now this bucket is outside of one of my experimental buckets, but it was planted about 20 days later than the other sweet potatoes that I did put into the bucket. So it has almost a two week, a two and a half week uh, disadvantage compared to the other bucket. So if this one does really well, I'll know that it's pretty much in time to harvest the other ones. But if this one does bad, that's where this video stops. So regardless of how this turns out, I just want to say I really do appreciate this uh, bucket method. I think it's a lot better than getting on my hands and knees with a pitchfork and trying to dig through the ground. I'm just gonna take this bucket, I'm gonna dump it out, and I'm gonna see what type of uh, sweet potatoes we get from this. Now I'm just gonna tell you right from the start, I do not necessarily expect any of these potatoes to be very large. They weren't very large when I got them. They were only about this big. Uh, that's just the Japanese sweet potato. It's a smaller variety. Uh, but what I'm really curious to see is uh, exactly how many I do get out of it. I'm looking at these vines and they're actually looking really nice. I'm tempted not to even dump this out at all, but I'm going to for you guys. Let's see. Success or failure? Okay, I'm extremely disappointed. Those are just not even worth eating. Wow. Well, here's obviously the seed potato that I put in there. You know what I think I got? I think I got about five gallons of compost. Seed potato. Nope. Not a gosh darn thing, nothing. So when they say between 90 days and 170 days, apparently right now I'm looking at 170 days. Here's the issue. I'm already into October. My first frost date is supposed to be November 15th. It'll probably be two weeks late. So I might be able to squeeze out another 40 or 50 days. Uh, I don't think that's gonna be nearly as much. Look at all right, guys, that is it. That is all for this episode of Cardi Stay Growing. I'm sorry it was so disappointing, but the reality is, is I learned a lot. What I like to point out is that I do kind of still love this method of growing in buckets because they are portable. And one of the symptoms I believe that the potatoes were having that they weren't growing as well, they didn't have enough sun. 
the seasons have changed. We're into October now. The sun is in a different part of the sky. So I was able to pull them off of the trellis and put them up here. Now the only thing that I'm going to do from this point on is I am going to water them and I'm going to add a little bit of this Super Thrive liquid fertilizer to them and uh, see if they do a lot better. These potatoes are doing in about 40 to 50 days. I'll determine when my frost date is by how cold it gets outside.